useful microorganisms. Lactobacillus bacteria help to make curd from milk. Curd is formed when a protein called casein present in milk clumps together to form solidified mass. Casein coagulation, clump formation, takes place only when the milk is acidic. The spoonful of curd contains the bacteria Lactobacillus, which promote the formation of curd from milk. Cheese and paneer are also made by the action of bacteria on milk. Making breads, pastries and cakes. Yeast cells are used in the baking industries for making breads, pastries and cakes. Yeast are also used in day-to-day -day household food items like idli, dokla and dosa too. For making idli and dosa, the mixture of ground rice and dal is first allowed to stand for a few hours. This mixture rises and becomes sour due to the growth of yeast cells. Making of alcohol, wine and beer. Yeast is used for commercial production of alcohol, beer and wine. The process of conversion of sugar into all alcohol by the action of microbes like yeast is called fermentation. Louis Pasteur discovered the process of fermentation in 1857. Production of antibiotics. Whenever we fall ill, the doctor may give us some antibiotic tablets, capsules or injections. What are antibiotics and how are they produced? The medicines produced by living organisms such as bacteria and fungi etc which kill or stop the growth of the disease causing microorganisms present in our body are called antibiotics. The source of these antibiotic medicines are microorganisms. These days a number of antibiotics are produced from bacteria and fungi, streptomycin, tetracycline and erythromycin are some of the commonly known antibiotics which are made from fungi and bacteria. Antibiotics are even mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to check microbial infections in animals. Antibiotics are also used to control many plant diseases. Precautions to be taken while using antibiotics. Antibiotics should be taken only on the advice of a qualified doctor. We must complete the entire course of antibiotics prescribed by the doctor. This completely destroys the disease causing microorganisms in our body. We may fall ill again if we do not complete the course. We should not take antibiotics when not needed or in wrong doses. It may make the antibiotic drug less effective when we might really need it in future. Antibiotics taken unnecessarily may kill the beneficial bacteria in the body. Antibiotics should not be taken when we are suffering from cold and flu caused by viruses. This is because antibiotics are not effective against diseases caused by viruses. Production of vaccines. In our childhood, if we had an attack of the disease, for example, chickenpox. We will never have in our lifetime the same disease, that is, chickenpox disease. The ability of one's body to resist a disease is known as immunity. Immunity against a particular disease can be developed by a technique called vaccination. Dead and weakened microbes of a particular disease are introduced in a healthy body. When disease-causing germs enter the body, it is referred to as an antigen. A small dose of dead and weakened disease causing microbes is called a vaccine. The healthy body fights and kills the antigens by producing suitable antibodies. The antibodies remain in the body. When the disease-causing microbes enter our body, the antibodies binds the disease-causing microbes and kills them. This is how the vaccine work. Several diseases including cholera, tuberculosis, smallpox, tetanus, polio 
Hepatitis B can be prevented by vaccination. A vaccine can be either injected or given orally. A particular vaccine is given at a particular age. This is called immunization schedule. This is an immunization schedule followed in India. Increasing soil fertility. In the previous chapter, we have learnt about rhizobium bacteria. These are present in the nodules of the roots of leguminous plants. Rhizobium bacteria absorb nitrogen gas from the atmosphere and convert it into nitrogenous compounds called nitrates. After harvesting, when the roots decompose, the nitrates present in the root nodules mix with the soil and enrich it with nitrogenous compounds and hence increase the soil fertility. Some bacteria and blue-green algae living in the soil also fix atmospheric nitrogen as nitrates. These microbes are commonly called biological nitrogen fixers. Cleaning the environment. We often see large amount of dead organic matter in the form of decaying plants and sometimes dead and decaying animals on the ground. We find that they disappear after some time. This is because the microorganisms decompose dead organic waste of plants and animals by converting